Hey guys, welcome to the fifth set of the Survivor Tournament MST Group 5. Hope you guys enjoy this one. We've got Dazing going up against Hero on Destination. I'm going to be absolutely critical. Should be fun. Zerg versus Protoss. And again, I think Dazing's going to have a lot of work cut out for him. He ended up losing in the first match to Hero. Maybe he's kind of learned from the lessons. This is uh, Destination's a little bit different of a map, obviously, but I still think it plays um, basically like any other Protoss versus Zerg. Uh, these days, I don't think it's so radically different. I, al I almost feel like it's even worse for Protoss because your natural secondary, uh, very vulnerable. It's you, you got to kind of place your cannons funny. All in attacks are even more powerful uh, than they would be on, I'd say, Byzantium or even Heartbreak Ridge. You also have kind of that mineral patch behind your base where they can mine it out. So, and I, I feel like as a Protoss player, there's not many options for you to kind of cheese the Zerg opponent, and Zerg has lots of opportunities to cheese you. So. We'll see how this works out. I feel like Hero is just playing a little bit better than Dazang overall, but uh, I'm kind of hoping that Dazang advances because, again, I've been a big fan of his. I know Moltrap has as well. He says, I heart Dazang. Actually, that was his message from Beyond the Pale. He wanted to duel these with me, but he, he didn't get a lot of time, which is one of the reasons these are a little bit late. Apologies for that. Um, otherwise, by the way, 4 p.m. this Sunday, I'm going to be doing the charity live cast. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be kind of goofy. I think the official title we were thinking of was the Super Fun Happy betting game live cast, but uh, we're trying to avoid the stains on the ban uh, the bonsai format as completely like, it's, seriously, it's like caricatures of Asian people, but anyway, I won't go into that. Won't go into that. So it looks like a fast expansion from Dazang at the 12 o'clock position is the Orange Protoss, by the way, 6 o'clock position, I believe that Hero was in Teal. Yep, in fact, Teal, it looks like he's going to open up with uh, what looks like an overpool build. Um, has that Overlord wandering out from his main. Dazing going to come in plenty of time, but this is going to delay that Nexus a bit. And I think he might be thinking about going for that Zergling speed early um, and at least attempting a run by, because, uh, again, and also when you have those early Zerglings out in the field, uh, particularly with speed, even if that run by it isn't a viable option just because they're just really defensively sealing back or maybe even put a gateway in the way to limit their own movement, things like that, um, you can still deny that, that probe scout very quickly, very early. And it looks like for a second there... Um, <laughs> for a second there, I was about to say Hero was about to get that hatchery up for free, and it looks like he's still going to be able to get that hatchery up for free. There's that forge on the front door, Dazang continuing um, to just uh, go in for the standard fast expansion. But yeah, able to place that hatchery without a lot of harassment from that probe, so Dazang kind of letting that go. I guess he wants to kind of get a good look at that front door, make sure that there's going to be the Zergling dedication um, rather than the drone dedication, because sometimes what you'll see players do is they'll go for an overpool or even a 12 pool, act like they're going to produce circles and instead um, produce drones to play a little bit more economical, to force you to build the two cannons uh, and kind of play the game from there. So now it looks like the, the cannons have, well, one cannon has been placed, um, which you can get away with, and it looks like that probe trying to get in the mix to lay these Zerglings for a little bit of time here. And a drone uh, coming out already to the 9 o'clock location, so it looks like we're going to see a very quick 3 hatchery, and again, I think we're going to see that 4 hatchery, 5 hatchery uh, style build from here on this map, though. I think we're going to see him place the Spire before that 4th hatchery to get that Scourge out a little bit sooner. And so easily accessible third gas. That's a very difficult to defend expansion, so maybe Dazing will be able to press out something against that. I still don't feel like Protoss have really gotten to the stage where they actually still just, it looks like still just four Zerglings running up, so he hasn't had to dedicate the cannon, actually five Zerglings out in the field. And here comes that runaround, and that cannon I don't think covers all the way back there. Let's see if the probes can go whack. No, they're going to be able to breach right through. Um, trying to get in the mix, he's able to trap one Zergling, so able to kill, but still it looks like three going to be able to breach the ramp. And that's just uh, actually, well, two and a half, because that one's fairly damaged but going to be able to get a lot of disruption done here. Going to be able to really kind of aggravate Dazong. It uh, looks like he's trying to transfer some probes. The probe's actually coming off the line to do some attack here, but that's going to hurt his economy, um, so it's well worthwhile and also going to provide some scouting information. Let's see if these Zerglings um, continue to stay alive, and that also provides the additional benefit of, yeah, providing distraction against the probe scout that's in the main, because you can just run around those Zerglings. Your Protoss opponent's going to just kind of look at them and be like, oh, uh, what are they doing out there? But so uh, Dazong getting only a little bit greedy there by placing that uh, gateway before his second cannon, particularly on this map. And so it looks like Hero is going to be absolutely rolling here and losing another probe uh, and also going to be able to harass that looks like that, uh, that cybernetics core a little bit um, and able to do a little bit more damage to that additional Zergling. Finally, a Zealot being produced, so at least the Zerglings will have to, to back off maybe a little bit. No, maybe might, oh, might be able to get a second probe kill um, trying to mine gas. But Dazang, this is not the way he wanted to start. Um, now he needs to be very careful with those Zerglings, though. 
hero, I should say, needs to be very careful with those Zerglings because they're just a sliver of health away from uh, being killed on either end. So just one probe hit or one zealot attack I think will take out either. So there's one uh, able to clear it out, but that second one's still wandering around. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, hero able to just pump his economy. He's got that spot in. Um, he's able to stop Dazang from mining as quickly and as efficiently as he wanted to. Uh, there's that Stargate. He's going to be able to spot that and everything. Still no cannon. Uh, wow, actually cancelled that second cannon. Still no additional cannon. Maybe to try to make up for things a little bit here. That's all it able to kill. Uh, so cutting a little bit of a corner there from Dazang. And it looks like both ba all three bases here just uh, mining quite a bit here. Um, there's the Citadel of Adun going down at the natural secondary. But yeah, notice, no second cannon, no weapons one here. So we'll see how this plays off. Uh, looks like, and that's kind of curious to me, because usually you'll see the weapons one, no matter what from a Protoss player. But uh, cutting, and maybe that's because of, the, again, the mining disruption. But... Um, Maybe I'm just off time because of everything that's happened. So there's that spire, and we're going to probably see a fourth hatchery to follow. Uh, did I care? And yeah, that's probably the fourth hatchery there. To get those Scourge out and deal with that first Corsair Scout and just produce a brutal amount of Hydralisks, which is a very powerful build on this map altogether. Um, actually, I think it might be a delay. Now that I think about it, it's possible that we're seeing a, a level 1 weapons delay to try to get Zealot speed out a little bit faster to try to press on that 9 o'clock expansion. First of all, before Lurkers come into the mix and also before really Sunken Colonies are placed just to catch Hero a little bit off guard um, so but even then you know weapons one would have been a little bit of a, an assistance there still only one cannon on the front and a lot of zerglings moving in looks like that probe scout going to be able to see them coming that direction let's see if a second cannon is placed so they still might be able to run all the way around the zealots trying to run up and engage looks like i think that's a second cannon hugging the nexus there uh, but uh, uh, maybe a second cannon no it's a pylon and those zerglings could make a run all the way around again if they wanted to doesn't look like they're going to though uh, looks like that's happening. It looks like two gate, and we are. Let's see if we see a Templar archives to to mix here. There's that first Corsair. Going to be able to get one kill, but see, it should see a scourge in not too long. There's an evolution chamber um, being planted as well to to kind of press the just pretty standard Zerg play, um, kind of overwhelm economically. And then you have the choices: Do you just want to contain your Protoss opponent with a lot of troops while you're just expanding absolutely everywhere, and you have overwhelming production, or do you want to just go and end it now and um, Honestly, the natural secondary, I, I assume he's not going to just want to end it out. Oh, look out. No! Okay, Corsair Scout immediately killed. Um, not even going to see that gas being planted. Now the Zealot's moving out. I think Zealot Speed, again, uh, we skipped he skipped Weapons 1 to get Zealot Speed a little bit faster. So I think Zealot Speed is going to kick in a little bit sooner before those Lurkers are really able to go and help defend there. But some additional Sunken Colonies uh, should be the difference. And it looks like those Scourge going to be able to run up, see the third gateway as well as the Templar Archives. There's the Zealot Speed. Uh, there is a, only a single Sutton Colony and not a lot of Zerglings to, to work against these Zealots. So these Zealots might be able to run in and do some damage. It looks like the Zerglings just going to run in and try to surround that Sutton Colony. Some nice base defense. The Zealots running in. It looks like they're going to try to still try to press in and try to take out that uh, Sutton Colony. But I think Heroes just got too much of a defense here. Yeah. And these Zealots look like they, they might be able to go get that Sutton Colony. Might be able to get a couple Zerglings, but there's just going to be plenty of Zerglings otherwise to run up and do some damage. But this is at least Zerglings and not Drones. Drones actually coming off the line to disrupt. Nice mo disruption there. You can see those Zealots getting isolated away from that Sunken Colony. But uh, still looks like there's four Zealots left. They should be taken care of by the Zerglings. Otherwise not able to get a lot of Drone kills. Actually, I don't think they've managed to get a Drone kill yet. Um, but uh, still able to, to run and do some damage in the mix here. Um, at least kind of delay and force, force Hero to produce Zerglings instead of just nothing but Drones. But honestly, off the five hatcheries, it's all dependent on the minerals. Um, he can keep producing, as long as he's got two or three of these hatcheries producing nothing but Zerglings, he can still produce Drones out of the rest. So uh, we'll see how this works out. And that, That's why f I don't like Protoss doing this, I guess. And the other problem is, is Protoss then lose all of their mobile army, and that really delays is taking a third because you can't run out and defend it and Dazang looks like he's just going to try to take that third in the dark um, and uh, still you have those mobile zerglings out in the field so right now a lot of map control in hero's favor hero feeling safe enough to expand to that bottom left with his mineral only honestly you could probably take another couple bases out in the field uh, looks like a high templar just now spawning it's probably not going